First of all, if you're serious about using handbrake, allow me to introduce you to Threadripper, which is... The 3960X. 3960X. But of course, this requires a new motherboard. So he's asking cores. about the 3950X, which is 16 cores. Correct. But all of these CPUs have hyperthreading, although they're not called hyperthreading because hyperthreading is an Intel trademark term, but I'm going to call it hyperthreading because who cares? So the deal is if you're running handbrake and you're using the CPU encode option and you're getting 50% usage, first of all, you should be getting more than that. But for the sake of this argument, what you're actually doing is you're getting... 100% of your core usage because half of your threads are cores and half of your threads are fake. I mean, they're not fake as in they're not real, but they're fake as in that they're not execution units. They're process schedulers and prefetchers is all they are. If you're running a game, a program, an application, anything, and you're seeing about 50% CPU usage, and this is true on Intel and this is true on AMD, what you're effectively doing is you're using all your cores. Now, yes, it's bouncing between the cores and threads and it's moving it around in Windows, but you have to realize if you're running Afterburner or you're checking Task Manager and it's updating once per second, the CPU can change its clock speed and core allocation thousands of times per second. Your CPU is operating at billions of hertz. It can change its speed, voltage, clock speed, thousands of times faster than anything you're looking at on the screen. You are watching moments in time. You are not watching every change. It's not changing when your software updates. If you want to try this, for example, you can update Task Manager to a fast update rate. But if you really want insanity, go into MSI Afterburner and set it to a 50 millisecond update rate Ooh. or a 25 millisecond update rate and watch the numbers go Vrrr. Because normally, by default, MSI Afterburner has a 1,000 millisecond update rate, or once per second. Okay, yeah. So if you set it, for the sake of discussion, if you set it to 16 milliseconds, then the numbers will update 60 times a second. Yeah. But you also run the risk of it updating so quickly, it just becomes gibberish. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yep. So if you're getting 50% usage, then what you're really doing is you're using all of your real cores. Because anything over 50% usage is into your hyperthreading. Now, now non-hyperthreaded CPUs will, will much more easily show 100% usage. I did this recently when I benchmarked the i7-9700K. Yes. Because it doesn't have hyperthreading. And so going straight to 100% usage is a lot easier because there's no extra process schedulers. It can just use all the cores and go straight to 100% usage. Okay. So if you're getting 50% usage on a Ryzen 7, 1700X, you may still get 50% usage on a Ryzen 9 3950X because you've doubled your real cores and you'll more than double your actual performance. Yes. But of course, it always depends. Not all programs will effectively use all those cores. Correct.